Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about the to-do notes package in LaTeX. This is something cool I discovered while I was initially doing some of my research on, you know, just how to use LaTeX effectively and to do some of the things that I wanted to do in a template document for note taking or like a skeleton I could easily convert between a note template or a paper or whatever I wanted to. So without any more delay, let's look at the to-do notes package. So you can see I have some uh, yellow items in here that just say to-do. This is the function that we'll be using. Um, I think my, my Vim for some reason <laughs> defaults to highlighting to-do. But the package is to-do notes. Now, um, I'm not sure if it's a specific plugin I have or if because I just have tech live uh, distribution installed, but if I hold shift K, it'll actually let me open the documentation and I'm gonna say yes. And it will open up the documentation in my browser and there's, I read through this whole thing and there's, there's not a lot that goes into this, but there are like three main functions that are pretty cool and you can customize a lot of them. They use the ticks package for some of the customized elements, but it really is uh, a cool package to, at least for like reminding yourself in your document and having everything in one place uh, your document itself, the content, the reminders, instead of having everything in, in an external like to-do list. But let's take a look at it. So if I opened up my um, you know preview of this, I have several things in here, but here's the to-do note. Now, if I was going to go scroll down, you could see that I have a to-do note right here below the section, and it will actually go here. You can specify um, specifically where the notes will be placed or also their specific formatting. Um, going down a little bit more, there is something cool like uh, with fancy arrow. It looks really weird right there. Let me compile again. Sometimes you need to recompile for this to work effectively. There we go. So fancy arrow will actually do something like this. Um, you could also do a inline task. So that way it would break up your text and just show you like bars inside your text of where you need to put something. And um, one other really cool thing that I really like about this package is if you have some figures that are gonna be missing, there's also a missing figures package. But before we get there, you can customize all of the elements of these um, to, these to-do reminders. So like I have this one has a green background, a green outline, black background, red text, and a blue line. And all of that, when I write it in LaTeX, looks like, oh, before we do that, um, there's actually one with a shadow. That's just with the shadow option. But this heavily customized one right here it's all in these uh, default or these uh, optional arguments for the to-do function. You could have background color, line color, border color, text color, and you can set these to be these specific colors. Um, let's try, I haven't actually tried to do a hex code. Let's see if it'll do that. It does not, unless it wants it to be in double quotes or something. Honestly, have not tried to do this. No, does not seem to like it. So, uh, in any case, uh, inside the braces, you actually put the, to the text you want in your to-do function, and you can have these be pretty big if you wanted it to be. Um, and then you can always just do like renew command or new command and customize the formatting of this, make several different um, styles of to-do notes, like different colors for different reasons, and easily have uh, a separate you know, function for each type of to-do item you want in your document. And you could always just, I mean, heck, you could source that probably from an external file and drop it into your template or just have it all up at the top in your preamble. But in any case, all I had to do to get this functionality was just have use package to-do notes. 
Uh, but before we go back up to the top so I can show that, um, one other really cool thing is that if you have a paper or you're writing or developing or some long form document and you have a figure or picture, graph, chart, something, some visual element you're adding in that you just don't have at this exact moment, but you don't want to forget that you have to put it in your document, you could put it to do note, or you could also put this, a missing figure. So this command is done with, uh, let me find it here. Where did I put it? Well, I can just search for it, I guess. Missing figure. There we go. Oh, it's right, right below it. Um, missing figure. And in braces, it'll be the text that you want in here. Now, you can customize this entire element as well, and that is in the documentation. Um, but you can do, you can actually have uh, side, net, side figures or floated figures over to the side and have two notes floated underneath those. You could have fancy line, you could have multiple items going like this. You can do custom uh, renew commands. You can customize the missing figure options. Um, a lot of stuff you can do with this. Uh, so what I like to do is just write basic to-do notes where I need to actually fill something in uh, or put it in there. And yeah, you have some optional arguments by default. Your formatting colors really, and then you can always just renew it and do other things with it as is the nature of the extensible LaTeX. But that is the to-do notes package. So um, I will be going over my entire like document outline, the one I use specifically for like note taking or if I was gonna use it to write a paper, it's just something really nice that I like to have set up. I can just change, add, remove things to it as I need. Uh, it is a template that is also on my GitHub, but I'll be going over that comprehensively and the packages I use in that template are gonna be the ones I cover first before I start branching out into other things. And who knows, maybe I'll discover other things I wanna use in my LaTeX template. But in any case, that was the to-do notes package. You get spelled to-do notes. And that's it. So let me know if you guys use it, if you had any experiences with it, if you like it, if you hate it, let me know. And don't forget to subscribe.